everyone, so today I'm doing a video suggestion from Harley Reads, which is pretty much just flaunt the beauty of my special edition, limited edition and signed books that I've collected over the past few years. I am a huge sucker for like limited edition books and everything like that. Even if I had the same copy or something at home, I'll definitely pick up another edition just for the way that it looks, or whether it's signed, or whether it's just in a hardcover, because I'm kind of stupid like that. Well, stupid, or you can just say that I appreciate the beauty of books. But to kick it off, I'll start with my John Green special edition books. Got the Fatna Stars in hardcover, which is like a black glossy look to it. The whole reason I picked up this one from my bookstore was because it is signed by John Green. Then in a similar kind of style, we've got Looking for Alaska, but this is the 10th um, edition anniversary book version of that, which has really cool like black trim pages as well. So because, you know, I am me, I also have the collector's editions of Paper Talents and Looking for Alaska once again, which is actually my third copy of Looking for Alaska. These books are exceedingly beautiful though. I mean, I've got pictures of them on my blog and like they're so much nicer in person, but they're just absolutely gorgeous. So Harley Reads is my cousin and for my birthday he got me this extremely gorgeous edition of The Maze Runner. So this one is also signed limited edition and it is literally one of my favourite books and my favourite editions that I've ever gotten. These next two books were gifts from two of my wonderful friends. So the first one is Becky at Newt's book blog and the second one is Rachel who has the blog Negative Pessimist. And this is the Valentine's Day edition of My True Love Gave It To Me which I got from Becky and that's also got really nice blue trimmed pages as well. So this is a limited edition of The Body Electric by Beth Reavis, which I got from Rachel. So this is a signed edition of Heroes of Olympus in hardcover, um, which I also got from my cousin for Christmas. That'll be four by Trent Reedy, which is signed and which is also a really amazing story, which I will be getting the uh, second book in the series to very soon. My special collector's edition of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, which is my third copy of Fangirl and it has like a really cool little dance party scene in the book there. This is one of my all-time favourite editions of a book, and that is Outlander by Edna Gabaldon. This is the 20th um, anniversary edition, and it is just so goddamn gorgeous. And lastly, I have four books from my all-time favourite author, Marcus Zusak. And three of those books are the exact same. So I have three of them that are signed, and one that is a collector's edition. So you've got The Messenger, which I got signed when I met him in person last year. My first ever copy of The Book Thief, which is signed. My hardcover of The Book Thief, which I bought at his book signing. And lastly, the exclusive collector's edition of The Book Thief, which is my most recent to be added to the collection. And it is seriously so beautiful. So there you have my very huge pile of special, limited and signed books that really hold a huge place to my heart, um, which are super heavy. My love for special edition books is something that's never going to stop and I guarantee you they'd give me a year's time and that pile probably would have doubled. Anyway, thank you for watching today and also keep an eye out on my blog because I'm going to be having a giveaway soon because um, I'm about to embark on a huge follower milestone. So happy reading and goodbye from me and Mary Lou.